What's up everybody, my name is Zach Pascarello and I teach you how to start an online bookkeeping business with no experience. I started a bookkeeping business three years ago and I had zero accounting experience. I've never had a bookkeeping job or an accounting job and I was able to quit my full-time job and start a successful business and now I make six figures every year and my only goal is to teach you how to do the exact same thing that I did three years ago. And if you enjoyed this video, please like the video and subscribe to my channel because I post new videos every single day teaching you how to do exactly what I did. And if you need help, I offer one-on-one -on -one consultations. There's a link in the description below. You can schedule a meeting with me anytime. I would be happy to work with you. So in this video, I'm gonna talk specifically six steps on how to start a bookkeeping business with no experience. And what I did is, if you haven't heard about ChatGPT, it's artificial intelligence, you can ask them anything. And I actually asked ChatGPT, how do you start a bookkeeping business with no experience? And I wrote down the answers that it gave me. It gave me six steps, and I'm going to provide my feedback and my analysis on the six steps that ChatGPT offered for starting a bookkeeping business with no experience. Okay, so the very first step that ChatGPT says is you need to research and learn. So they said before starting any business, it's essential to research and learn about the industry you want to operate in. I think that's exactly correct. So I actually say that book, starting a bookkeeping business is a four step process. And the very first step is you need to learn QuickBooks and bookkeeping. However, I would not spend too much time on this step. I think this step maybe takes a month. Spend a month learning bookkeeping, learning QuickBooks, and also before you decide to start this business, ask yourself, do you love accounting and numbers? Because all you're going to be doing is bookkeeping. I know it probably is like silly to say, but if you don't truly love accounting and love numbers and love like boring spreadsheets and financial statements, then you're not really going to enjoy this business. So I just wanna caution you before you get started, like you will be working at a computer for 10 hours every single day, you're gonna be staring at numbers, you're gonna be manipulating Excel spreadsheets, you're gonna be doing data entry. It's a pretty boring job unless you love bookkeeping and accounting. So the next step in research and learning, they say start by reading books, articles, and blogs about bookkeeping and accounting. I did not read a single book I didn't read it really anything about bookkeeping or QuickBooks. I did take an, an intro to accounting class from a local community college. I would recommend doing that, but that's pretty expensive. And then I just started watching YouTube videos, honestly, about how to do QuickBooks. Like bookkeeping is pretty easy. QuickBooks software itself is actually kind of difficult, but seriously, don't spend too much time trying to master, trying to master QuickBooks and bookkeeping. Like spend a month learning the fundamentals and learning how to operate QuickBooks because you got a lot of other steps to take online courses to learn about accounting basics, bookkeeping and tax preparation. I think that's a good idea. You can probably do an online class like I did at a local community college, or you can probably find some independent online course that teaches you the fundamentals of bookkeeping and accounting. I would recommend doing that. That way you have some basic. Okay, the second step that they recommend is choose a niche. As a bookkeeper, you can specialize in a particular niche like a small business, virtual bookkeeping, or bookkeeping for specific industries. I do not recommend that you niche down on a specific industry. What I do recommend is that you niche down on a specific type of software. So I only work with QuickBooks Online. And I recommend that you do the same thing, but maybe if you're in a different country or a different region of the United States that specializes in like Zero or Wave. There's other types of accounting software, but I have found that QuickBooks Online seems to be the most popular accounting software, at least in the United States. And I don't work with QuickBooks Desktop. I only work with QuickBooks Online. I don't do payroll. So I kind of have a specific niche in the services that I offer and the software that I provide. So I only do bookkeeping. I don't do payroll. I don't do taxes. I only do bookkeeping. I only work with QuickBooks Online. But as far as a specific industry, I would not recommend that you do that. They say decide on your niche and research your target market. You can maybe do that later on, but in the beginning, I wouldn't turn down a particular client because they're not in your niche. Like it would, to me, I always say this, it seems silly. Like I only want to work with general contractors, but this restaurant owner asked me to do their bookkeeping. Like if I don't have any clients, it wouldn't make any sense for me to turn down a restaurant owner because I arbitrarily pick this niche of general contractors. So in the beginning, until you get like 10 or 15 clients, I would probably just take on pretty much anybody that wants to hire you. That's just my opinion. Maybe somebody else might say something. 
Okay, so the third step is you need to develop a business plan. According to ChatGPT, your business plan should include your business goals, target market, services offered, pricing strategy, marketing plan, and financial projections. Okay, so seriously, don't waste too much time on this. Here is your business plan in 30 seconds. You're gonna start an online bookkeeping business. You're gonna keep your full-time job until you're making three to $4,000 of monthly recurring income. You're gonna charge people $250 a month or $2 per transaction. And your marketing plan, you're gonna create social media content every single day and you're gonna to sell to people every single day until you get so many clients that you can't keep up with the bookkeeping. There is your business plan in 30 seconds. Seriously, don't waste too much time on it. Don't overcomplicate things. You need to learn bookkeeping. You need to get clients and then you need to do bookkeeping. That's really all there is to it. Okay, step number four, obtain the necessary certifications. There are no necessary certifications in my opinion. You don't need to be a CPA. You don't need a college degree. You don't need prior work experience to be a bookkeeper because I had none of those things whenever I started my bookkeeping business and I still don't have any of those things. I don't have a degree in accounting. I mean, I have bookkeeping experience because I've been a business owner, but I don't have like any legit resume building bookkeeping experience or certification. So they are correct to say it's not a requirement. However, they go on to say having certifications like certified bookkeeper or a QuickBooks certified user can increase your credibility and help you stand out from the competition. That is true, it can help increase your credibility. However, I don't know, I don't even know what it means to be a certified bookkeeper. Maybe that's a thing, maybe it's not. I have never had, a, I've talked to hundreds of business owners, I have never had anybody ask me if I'm a certified bookkeeper and I've only had like five people ask me like, what are your qualifications? If, if somebody asked me that at this point, I would be like, dude, I don't know, I'm a, I'm a bookkeeper, I have a bookkeeping business, like I do bookkeeping, what other qualifications do you want? I mean, like at this point I, I have credibility, I have a reputation built up, so maybe that's a little bit different versus if you were brand new, but like I have over 50 Google reviews on my Google My Business page, I have clearly been in business for over three years, I have references, like if somebody asked me for references, I'd be able to, to provide references, but in terms of a college degree or a certification, I don't have that. The only thing I do have, and the only thing that I would recommend that you get, is you should become an, a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor, and that's pretty easy to get, it's free to get. You can go to quickbooks.com, or do a quick Google search, and search how to become a certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor. Maybe that's what they mean whenever they say QuickBooks Certified User, but it's free to get. It's it's a course that you have to take and then an exam that you have to pass. Honestly, a pretty difficult test that you have to pass. I failed it the first time three years ago, but I passed it the second time. And this gives you two things. You get put into QuickBooks database of certified QuickBooks Pro Advisor. So if any business owner is looking for a bookkeeper, they can go to QuickBooks and they can look for a certified Pro Advisor and they can type in your zip code and they can search for you and your name will pop up and you are basically certified by QuickBooks saying that you are a legit pro advisor. And also, if anybody does ask you like, what are your certifications, you can tell them, well, I own a bookkeeping business and I am a certified QuickBooks pro advisor, so I'm an expert in QuickBooks. Even if you're not necessarily an expert in QuickBooks, you can still say that you have that certification, so it seems like you're legit and you're an expert. But anybody can get the certification, it takes a couple weeks to study for and take the exam. That's the one thing I will recommend you do in the first month. Okay, step number five, I think. According to ChatGPT, choose the right tools. This is step number five for starting an online bookkeeping business with no experience. As an online bookkeeper, you'll need the right tools to manage your clients' books. In terms of tools, I mean, I just use QuickBooks and a couple Microsoft Excel spreadsheets. Some essential tools include accounting software like QuickBooks, duh, invoicing software, and project management tools. I still don't use any project management tools my wife has an organizing business and her business is a little bit smaller than mine, but she has a CRM and she loves the CRM. She swears by it. Me personally, I don't know. I've just never felt the need for a CRM. I have over 35 clients that I do their bookkeeping for on a monthly basis. I just use QuickBooks to send them invoices. I use Stripe to process credit card payments and I use PandaDoc to electronically sign client agreements. But apart from that, I really don't use a whole lot of software and a whole lot of tools. Every client has their own QuickBooks account. They invite you as the accountant to their QuickBooks account. So they actually pay for their own QuickBooks subscription. And then I just do the bookkeeping inside their QuickBooks. And then I have an Excel spreadsheet. I have every single client listed out on the Excel spreadsheet. And then I have a checklist. Like, did I reconcile their accounts for this month? Did I categorize their transactions? Do I have any questions? Did I send them an invoice? 
did I send them their monthly profit and loss? Like I have an Excel spreadsheet with all of those columns and questions and checklists on it. I use that a lot, but I don't pay for any specific CRM software, but to each his own. Maybe you want to use software, maybe you don't. Okay, so this is step number six and the final step, according to ChatGPT on how to start an online bookkeeping business with no experience, they recommend build your online presence to me. I'm assuming that means marketing and advertising. They recommend create a professional website and social media accounts to showcase your services and expertise. There's no way people are going to find out who you are unless you have an online presence. I would not recommend paying for advertising in a newspaper or a magazine or billboards. To me, those are outdated sources of advertising because people, those, people just aren't really reading magazines and newspapers and people aren't really looking at billboards as often as they're looking at their phones. So social media is going to be the best place for you to do advertising and marketing. I don't recommend that you pay for any advertising in the beginning unless you have a ton of cash that you want to put into your business. But if if you're low on cash, you could do all the advertising and marketing on your own and you just need a website and a Facebook page and that's all you need. You can get LinkedIn, Instagram, and TikTok and Twitter if you want, but I primarily use my website and Facebook. And then finally, network with other professionals in your industry and join online bookkeeping groups to connect with potential clients. So in terms of networking, I don't really do a whole lot of networking outside of social media. So I create content on my Facebook page and I engage with my Facebook community. I friend request a ton of business owners and I am in Facebook groups. I'm not in online bookkeeping groups, but I am in g generic business Facebook group. So like in Central Pennsylvania, we have this awesome Facebook group called Central Pennsylvania Support Small Businesses. I'm in that group and I find a ton of business owners in that group. So step number six, sales and marketing, basically build your online presence. That is absolutely a necessary step. And this is the most, this is the most difficult step. So the first step, you've got to learn bookkeeping and QuickBooks. That's like kind of the easiest, the quickest, the first step. You just got to get that out of the way. And then marketing and sales is the hardest step. So you, this is where you need to spend two or three months grinding and creating marketing content and doing cold calls and sending direct messages and trying to get your first couple clients. It's going to be difficult, but it's possible. You can start a bookkeeping business with no experience. I did it three years ago and I make these videos every single day to teach you what I know so that you can fast track and so that you can quickly start your own bookkeeping business in less than 30 days with no experience.